Okay, so what we're going to do here is now that these we have these two two uh, guest networks, what we'll go back also here. You should see that once we so right now we only have the one VR. Let's go ahead and deploy an instance, and we're just going to use the default template that comes with Cloud Stack, the CentOS 5.5. And we will small thanks get to the network and we'll just set it up on the the first one here the web tier uh, web test one and launch okay we're going to go ahead and also create two more instances I'm going to create one more web one more web uh, instance and also a DB instance so we're going to put the web instance of course on the web tier network for the network oh. try that again And we're going to go ahead and create one for that's going to be on the DB tier or the database guest network. So while these are starting up, let me go ahead and bring up the console view of each of these virtual instances. Also, we'll take a look at where the instances are actually, which host they're on. So we can see the DB test one is on uh, the KVM host two. And instance web test two is on KVM host two as well. And the web oh, one is on KVM host one. So that's a good separation. So the, the two web tiers are on separate physical hosts, and the DB is on the same host as the, uh, oh, the, the second web tier. All right, so now that the instances have booted up, we'll go ahead and log on to them. Uh, the username root password is the password, all lowercase. Go ahead and get the IP address information. And let's go ahead and see if we can ping the from one web test to the other web test. And this is 212.10.0.1.212. Okay, so that works. And let's also see if we can ping the database tier there, which is zero dot and one forty nine. Okay, so we can see that the networking between all the tiers, because we did set the ACL to allow, uh, we can ping from all the instances they can actually talk to each other 
Um, I can also ping an outside address. We'll ping google.com and we can see I can also get out to google.com as well. Now if we wanted to change the, the reason why we put them in different tiers the, the instances is because we can also go in and change the, the rules on the firewall or in the guest network so that these tiers cannot talk to each other. And you'll see those tiers shows up under guest network so they, they really are guest network even though you see them labeled as tiers when you set them up. We'll go into the VPC and if we click on the little arrow here at the top of the the, uh, the guest network we can actually go in here and edit this and, and change the the ACL so we can see the ACL here is set for default allow so the only one that we have available to us so we, we get two by default the default allow and the default deny um, we can you can actually go in as well and create your own uh, ACL list or with different rules of what you want to allow or deny. We'll go ahead and click OK to deny here on the web tier, and we'll go back to the virtual instances, and let's try to. Ping the other web tier, and we can still ping the other web instance. But if I try to ping from the DB, let's get the IP address again here. We can see that we cannot ping that system. Now again, we can go back in, we can change this, we'll set it to allow, and as soon as that enables itself, we can go back in and we can see that the traffic now can, we can actually ping that, that web VM instance. Okay, so that was it. Um, the only other thing, let me go in and so if you need to have a, a public IP address, which you may want to do for your virtual machine, what we can do is go back into the VPC. We'll click on the public IP address. And what you can do is acquire a new IP. So we'll go ahead and confirm. This will grab another IP out of the I, out of the public pool, and what we can do is go ahead and, and enable the static NAT, and then we can choose which uh, VM instance we want to to uh, assign that to. So we'll go ahead and assign it to the web test to zero, and then apply, and now he will be assigned the the static NAT IP address.